Welcome back. In this video, we will change data source password using WLST. In the previous video, we saw introduction to WLST. Also, in the hands-on lab, we discussed different different commands and we created data source with the help of WLST as well. Please watch all the previous videos if not already. Uh, I will put all the links in the description. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to check out my channel for more interesting videos related to WebLogic administration and SOA development. So let's begin. For this video, I have written four different scripts and you can use whatever is applicable for your use case. So let us see one by one. So I am inside domain home and I have put one script here. You can put a script wherever you want and run it from there. So the name of script is change data source password dot py. And here you can see in the first line we are trying to connect our WLST. Now how to connect WLST without username and password you can refer my previous video. Here we are trying to print some messages uh, before executing the script and in this section we are taking the session so that we can change uh, the configuration. So in this section we are going inside JDBC driver params and uh, we are doing it for my data source that is the name of our data source and in this section you can set the new password so you can see we have encrypted value for the password and uh, in the previous video we also saw how to encrypt uh, password so i do recommend you to pause that video first and in last we are going to activate our change so let us save the script and try to run uh, this script to run this script we will run java weblogic.wlst and then we'll give the script name that is change data source password and you can see the change has been activated and the password is changed now so in this script we have hard coded value for the data source name so we are going to change this script and we'll write uh, another script uh, let's see that as well so this is our another script uh, here we are taking data source password from the terminal as an input here we have a specified domain path here we have specified uh, data source name and we are encrypting the password which we are taking from the terminal then we'll connect our wlst and we'll do the rest of these steps and here you can see we are inside jdbc system resources and we are trying to get all the system resources inside this variable and you can see we have a for loop here so one by one we are going to retrieve the data source and will compare to our data source name here and if it is matching we are going to go inside that data source and change the password you can see in last we will save and activate the change and disconnect from the wlst so let's save and run this script again so we are running our new script now so let's enter the password and this is going to be a new password for the data source and you can see our change has been activated successfully now we'll see the third uh, variant for our script so in this version of the script you can see we have multiple names here in the data source so in this script uh, we will be able to reset password for multiple data sources it can be useful when you want to reset password for different different data sources which has a same password like our previous script we are going to get the password from the terminal and here we have our domain path and we are going to encrypt that password uh, whatever we are getting from the terminal we have added one more for loop so that we can compare our ds name uh, where we have multiple data sources uh, with the list of data source which we have on the domain and uh, rest of the steps will be same so let's save and try to run this
let's enter the password and our script was successfully executed and our change is successfully activated now we are going to see our last version for the script so let's see that as well so in this version we are not going to take password from the terminal and we have encrypted value here and the rest of the steps are similar to what we have in the last script and rest of the steps are similar to previous script also if you have different password for different data sources in that condition you will have to add if condition uh, here in the loop so let's save this and run this script again and guys i have uploaded all these scripts in the git uh, the link is in the description you can directly go and copy all this script and utilize as per your need so this is also completed successfully and we are done here if you found this video helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the further notification and don't forget to leave a comment so that i can come up with different different topics for you thank you